Today, we're going to be testing 10 of the most viral TikTok products. We're going to be putting all these products to the test and seeing if they work or don't work. If you like these types of videos, drop a like, subscribe, and without any further ado, let's get started with the video. All right, guys, before we test out the first product, I have some very exciting news I want to share with you guys. So if you remember a couple months ago, I told you that I was nominated for the AIA Awards, and guess what? We won! So I'm gonna show you the award. You guys are not ready. Look at this beauty. I still cannot believe that I won. It literally says my name, Emerging Lifestyle Influencer of the Year, Makeup by Pita. I just wanna say, guys, I thank you so, so much for voting for me. I know a lot of you guys literally voted every single day. So again, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to vote for me, for believing in me, for always supporting on everything that I do and for having my back. I just feel it in my heart that 2023 is our year and I'm going to make you guys so proud one of my other goals for this year is to hit 2 million subscribers we didn't get to do it last year but that is okay guys i know that we're gonna make it happen this year so if you're watching and you have not subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button so now that i showed you guys the award let's start testing these products all right guys for the first product we have a drinking helmet this is what it looks like this reminds me from the episode in spongebob you were born to wear this hat so basically it's a drinking helmet you put it on and you get to mix it two of your favorite drinks or you can have two of the same drinks whatever you want for the drinks i have the dr pepper strawberry and cream zero sugar which by the way if you guys haven't tried it it is so good we also have coca-cola zero sugar so this is what the drinking helmet looks like i'm gonna give you guys a close-up you put these straws into your drinks and then this is the straw that you drink from now we're going to assemble it it looks pretty easy you have these two parts here which you're going to put in here and then pop it in place here and this is where you're going to place your sodas now we're going to do the same thing on the other side there we go okay now it should look something like this now we're going to put the drinks on each side so i'm going to put the dr pepper here take the coke on the other side put the straw in there okay it looks like it's nice and secured now you put it on your head is it heavy? Okay. It looks pretty heavy. It is heavy. Wait, is it leveled? I don't want the soda to spill. <laughs> no, no, push it to the front. Like that? Yeah, pull it more, 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 more. Yeah, more. Okay, there you go. Dude, I can't even see you no more. The freaking <laughs> helmet thing is right here. It looks so weird from my point of view, but as long as it's straight, it's fine. So I'm gonna unclip it, and now let's try it and put it to the test. Here we go. Ooh, that looks so cool. <laughs> choking because i started drinking it and like all the fish started building up in my mouth it has so much gas that the soda is just coming out by itself but i'm gonna take one more sip <laughs> yeah don't don't use a drinking helmet with drinks that are carbonated but i'm gonna say that the drinking helmet does work again just use it with like non-carbonated drinks for the next product we have an ice cream scoop now this ice cream scoop is supposed to give you the perfect instant ice cream sandwich i will leave all the products that i'm using in today's video link down below so all you need is the ice cream scoop you also need some store-bought cookies and ice cream so we're going to open the ice cream all you do is you just push down all the way down until you can see the arrows and then you twist Perfect, I think that's good. Now you're gonna take two cookies, then you just lift it up, and then you just take this button here, push it down, look at that. You just need bigger cookies. <laughs> yeah, you do, but even then, it looks really good. It's a good portion, it's nice and thick, and it was really easy to use. Here comes the fun part, we're gonna take a bite. <laughs> That's yeah. literally the perfect ice cream mm. sandwich. It looks like you bought it at the store. Chocolate chip cookies, cookies and cream ice cream. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is such a good combo here. Take a bite because I know you okay, love okay, 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 ice okay. cream sandwiches, specifically the ice cream. Oh my God, it's so bomb. It's so delicious. I'm going to rate this product 10 out of 10. Definitely worth it. Again, I'm going to leave all the products linked down below in case you guys want to check them out, but I really like this one. For the next product, we have the Dino Dunker. Now this is the tool to dunk your cookies. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that doesn't like to dip their fingers in the milk when I'm like dunking the cookies in or sometimes some of the crumbs or even like the whole cookie gets in the milk and obviously I don't want to dip my whole hand so then I have to get a spoon and then it gets soggy and it's just it's not the vibe okay so this here this tool is supposed to resolve all of your problems so you fill up the cup with milk then you put your cookie in the dunker you dunk it in and bam you dunk your cookies without any mess so we're gonna pour the milk into the cup and we're gonna fill it all the way to the top okay I think that should be enough we're gonna take the dino and a cookie we're going to place the cookie in the dino. One, two, three. Perfect! 
egg. How long do you leave it in the milk? At least five seconds. You have oh, to. Oh, me personally? Yeah. I was like, the instructions, it doesn't come with it. <laughs> I leave it for five seconds, five to ten seconds. Cause I like ten it. Ten seconds? I like it mushy. Jason, that's literally, it's gonna come out like crumbling. Ten seconds, three seconds max. Like, one, two, three. That's all you need. I do like ten seconds because I like it mushy. I don't know if I'm the only one. Let us know in the comments down side below. Side eye, side eye. Ten <laughs> seconds is way too much. Look, see? It's already like low-key falling apart. That's how I love it. I say three seconds, but all right, let's give it a try. <laughs> what did I tell you? Dude, that's how I love it. Mushy. Did it? Do <laughs> I'm telling you. Let me know in the comments down below. How many seconds do you dunk your cookies into the milk? I say three seconds, but okay. Back to the product. I really like it. So I'm going to say that this product is definitely worth it. I rated a 10 out of 10. For the next product, we have the Cork Pop. Now, this is the fastest and easiest way to open a bottle of wine. So how this works is you take off the cap. It has a needle. You put the needle in the center of the cork. Then you press it down. It has compressed air. So that is why it's supposed to be the fastest and easiest way to open a bottle of wine. So we're going to put it to the test and see if it really is fast and easy. So again, you remove this cap. Ooh, this is a, a fancy wine opener. And then you just... Wait, wait, wait. Press on the button just to see what happens. Oh! What the heck? I guess that's the compressed air. Ooh. Okay, wait. I definitely need to try this out. Okay, now I'm extra excited. Hopefully this doesn't go wrong. I'm kind of scared. Why would you say that? <laughs> why would you say that? Knowing that I'm the clumsiest person and I always have accidents, why would you say that? No, you. I think you should be good. All the way down. Like, all the way down? I think so. Okay, yeah. And then you press it and at the same time gently pull it up. Dude, now I'm scared because you said that, but I got it. <laughs> that was fast. That really was fast. fast. I literally blinked and it was in my hand. Dude, what? That's crazy. Oh that was pretty God. fast. Do I even have to say what I think of this gadget? You guys saw by my facial expressions. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. Dude, that's three 10s out of 10s back to back. If you're a person that loves wine, this one is definitely for you. Up next, we have a three-in-one fast wireless charger. Now with this, you're supposed to charge your phone, your AirPods, and your Apple Watch at the same time. If this works, this can be my best friend and I'm gonna put it in my nightstand because if there's one person that is so irresponsible for charging all three of those things is this girl right here <laughs> literally me my apple watch is always out of battery and let's not even talk about the airpods because i always lose them as well but anyways back to the product Ooh, very fancy Ooh, and it has leds in the bottom oh nice that's definitely a vibe all right we're gonna plug this in so it does come with the adapter already okay Ooh. now let's see how do i work this I have the airpods here now we're gonna put the Apple Watch. <gasps> oh, okay. The phone. Oh, nice! Dude, that is so dope. Everything is charging. I'm gonna change its color. Where do you change the color? Oh, from here, it has a button in the front. Wait, did it do anything? Yeah, look, it's changing. White, blue, Dude, no that light. is so dope. If you're someone that's like me, always struggling to charge all three of the things, or even if you just want it for your phone, I actually think this is pretty cool. You can also be playing some music while your phone is charging, while you're getting ready or like doing stuff around the house. I'm gonna rate also this gadget 10 out of 10. For the next one, we have the self-closing cap for any tube. Now you can use this for your toothpaste or just any tube in general. I personally want it for my toothpaste because I don't know if I'm the only one, but it is so annoying, guys. I get up super early in the morning, like 5, 5.30. So I'm always like still half asleep and I'm like taking off the cap, putting the toothpaste on the toothbrush, putting the cap back on. And then sometimes I like overpress the little tube and like the toothpaste like starts overfilling and then I have to like close the cap and it's like too much. It's it's an, or, too much. or sometimes you lose the cap. That's even worse. <laughs> That's even worse because then the toothpaste starts to get like dry. Like yeah. around the, no, it's really bad. So hopefully this works. We have the toothpaste here. The toothpaste with the cap. We're gonna take off the cap. We no longer need this. We're gonna put it to the side. We're going to open this up and hopefully it works. Then you just squeeze it in here, twist it. Oh, you twist it like this. Perfect, okay. And then, I should have bought a toothbrush. <laughs> I don't know about it. Squeeze it. <laughs> Wait, does it work? Wait, am I supposed to make the hole? You may be supposed to squeeze harder. I see it coming up. Oh! <laughs> but here, why don't you give it a try? Maybe, maybe I'm not strong yeah, enough. Yeah, maybe you're not squeezing it hard enough. 
No, it's pretty easy. It's easy? Okay. I'm gonna say that this gadget does work. I'm gonna rate it, me personally, eight and a half out of 10. Next, we have this weird looking product that it's supposed to be a soda dispenser. So let's see if it does work. So you need a liter soda. I'm going to I think open that's a it. Two liter. A two liter? Yeah. Two, ooh, I think I need a one liter. No, but I think two liter will work too. And then we're just going to open it very carefully. There we go. You're gonna take the product, you twist it. Twist it, twist it, twist it, nice and tight. Flip it over. Uh oh, hopefully it doesn't spill. Oh. It's spilling. No, 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 what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What just happened? Uh, I think it's all the gas. Did I tell you? No, it no, too I, much? I think you're good. It's just all the gas. Too much pressure. Oh my, so do I do it again? Dude, I'm so. <laughs> I mean, it's. Do already... it again, but pour like ASAP. Oh, I was supposed to poke a hole, Jason. Oh. Oh my God, that's why it happened. Look, it's happening again. Why is it not poke the hole? Poke the hole. I'm trying. It's gonna keep doing it. There. Oh, you hear you it? see? It stopped. As soon as you poke the hole, it stopped. Okay, wow. well, I was already gonna say it does not work, but no, guys, that was on me. My bad. You're wow. supposed to, like, poke a hole right away so it can release the gas. It is still leaking, though. Do you see that? I think you it's broke leaking. the seal. What if you twist it? Like, try to twist oh. it? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. Okay, there you go. We poke the hole. We make sure it's nice and tight. We're gonna take our cup. Let's pour the soda. Ooh. Nice. Okay. okay, okay. If you if you do it right and you follow the instructions, it actually does. It work. actually works. This will be good for parties, mm -hmm. movie nights, yep. or just to have it like laying here in your island and you just go and like pour soda yep. whenever you're feeling it. Let's take a sip of the soda. I rate the gadget 10 out of 10. Just make sure to always read instructions first. This next product, I always see it on my For You page and I was like, you know what? Let me finally buy it and see what the whole hype is about. This is a screen cleaner. You add some water, then you spray the water and this product here has a side that you use to clean the screen. And it's supposed to be really satisfying whenever you clean the screen, but also it's supposed to do a really good job at cleaning your screens because I usually just use like a rag or a paper towel. And yes, it gets the job done, but it always leaves streaks or like watermarks on the screen it's not cute looking so i was like you know what let me just finally get this you can use it to clean the screens for your tablet your phone and even your laptop any screen technically a literally any screen and look at my tablet do you see how dirty it is it's so dirty especially when the kids use it oh my god they get Please. hot cheetos <laughs> cheeto fingers like crumbs eating their snacks like this and they touch everything and i'm <laughs> like bro just keep it clean so i was like you know what i definitely need this because i clean this tablet probably two times a day Ooh, fancy packaging. Okay, so you see how it has like this suede material? This is what you use to clean your screen. All right, let's spray it. And then you just do this. Ooh. And then do it again. Yeah. Wait, there's some streaks. Maybe I should add more water. Okay, that's looking much better. Look at that. We're gonna Dude, go in you again. Can literally see the difference. Whoa, look at the difference. That looks really good. Ignore the crack on my iPad, okay? Don't look at that. <laughs> Let's continue to clean the rest of the screen. Dude, this cleans the screen so good. I'm gonna rate this product a 10 out of 10. It is very easy to use. Also, I think it's like the, wait, can I borrow your phone to see if it's like a perfect fit for the screen? Oh yeah, well I mean, you would have to take the case off, but still, I feel like, yeah, it does work for the phone as well. So I'm gonna rate this product again, 10 out of 10. For this next gadget, we have a rapid peeler. Now with this peeler, you can peel potatoes, squash, apple, orange, mango, kiwi, and lemon. Pretty much everything, if you ask me. Did I mention an apple? Yes, apple. This is what I'm <laughs> using for today's video to test it out. So this is what it looks like. All you have to do is you just plug it into your wall, and then you see this here. Take your apple, whatever you're using, make sure press it down in the center of the fruit now you're gonna take this top part you're gonna press it down push it into the center of the top of the apple there we go press it down all the way down want to make sure this part is level to the top of the vegetable or fruit again whatever you're using so it can peel all the way from the top to the bottom there's a button here that says on and off you're gonna press on it and here we go do you think it's Two. gonna work before you press on it? I think it's gonna work, but I don't think it's gonna peel the entire apple. Uh, I guess we'll you see. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's see. One, two, three. Whoa, Ooh, that's fast! That is so fast! I can never peel it that fast. <laughs> that's that's it. it, it's done. But see? 
That's Maybe what I was you were supposed about. to not stab it all the way. So try to like pick it up. Wait, what? Okay, wait, hold on. What do you, let me unplug it. What do you mean? Like, raise this up? Yeah. Maybe, like, right there. Oh, all right. Let's try it. Wait, let me plug it in. <laughs> all right, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, no. No, Jason. <laughs> Dude, you may, you're going to make me break this thing. But okay. it did work. See? I mean, yes, it does work. But, like I told uh, you, it didn't yeah. peel the bottom or the top. I think oh. it's worth it if you peel multiple apples. I think it's worth it if you're gonna be baking potatoes or doing diced potatoes. Then I think it'll be worth it because it's. Imagine you're gonna do like 20 potatoes. Yeah, true. Like who's really gonna want to like peel 20 potatoes, you know, with their hand? So I'm going to rate the product nine out of ten. I would have gave it a ten out of ten if it would have peeled the top and the bottom. But again, not bad. So I saved it the best for last. So this is a fruit mask machine. You can make your own face mask with whatever fruit juice you want. I know it's very cool. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, you're. You already know me this looks very interesting so i have to buy it and give it a try so you're supposed to use fruit juice like for example you can use orange juice you can blend some strawberries blend cucumber i don't have any of that but i do have this tropical punch prime so we're going to be making a prime face mask for today so this is what it looks like when you take it out of the packaging very fancy very cute you just have to plug it in to your wall there you go welcome to use smart fruit facial mask machine Dude, that was fancy. Oh, I guess. Wait, what? It's, it's waiting it, for me? To add the water. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, hold on. We got to do this fast. She said add the water. So we add the water. You take 60 milliliters of water. So we're going to pour the water in here. Please appear water. Please add the nutrient solution. Oh, okay. So now you get to add whatever fruit juice you want. Oh, okay. Now we're going to do the tropical punch. 20 milliliters of whatever fruit juice you want. Please add the nutrient solution. Okay, I'm going in a dang. <laughs> He's like, come on. Please add collagen peptides and press start button. It also comes with these collagen peptides. So that's the healthy thing yes, for your exactly. skin, right? It comes with these. Pop it in here. Please add collagen peptides and press start button. Okay, did that. Now I close it. Start button. And then you just leave Please it here. Well processing. Okay, said so wait while processing. It's supposed to process for five minutes. After five minutes, we're supposed to have a face mask. So I'll check back in in five minutes with you guys. Five minutes later. Okay guys, so it's been five minutes. As you can see, the light is flashing. So now we're going to pour the liquid into the face mask mold. And then once we do that, we have to let it sit for another five minutes, but let's pour out the liquid. Please put mask plate on table and please switch to clean mode by pressing start button. Do you smell that? Ooh, it's so hot. It I smells can, so good. I can smell the prime. Yeah, the fruit punch. Here's a close up of what the face mask looks like. Oh, look, it's starting to like get like really jelly, like consistency. So we're gonna let it sit here for five minutes and then we'll see what the face mask looks like. Five minutes later. Okay guys, it's been five minutes and I'm so excited to take the mask out of the mold. So here's a close up, this is what it looks looks like it smells like the prime fruit punch literally that's what it smells like with soap with soap yeah it has a very strong scent now we're gonna take it out of the mold very carefully <gasps> Dude. why do i low-key want to eat it it looks and it smells so good okay i would put it on my face but i have makeup on but here is what it looks like it's very stretchy and jello -y. It's basically like a jello i'm definitely gonna start making my own face mask for my sunday reset i'm going to rate this product a 10 out of 10. i'm so surprised that most of the products today really worked like for the most part i rated all of them 10 out of 10. they're all a success to yeah be which is very rare because like sometimes we have some that don't work but i want to say that today Today's video was very successful if you guys did enjoy today's video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of all these products if you come across any products on tiktok or any gadgets or anything that you want me to test out make sure to tag me on my tiktok and make my pita and once again i will leave all the products linked down below in the description box thank you guys so much for all the love and our support hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys yeah 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 Coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with?